if you solve this, plug these two boundary conditions back to temperature profile, you get this kind of temperature profile, which is uh, still linear. Okay. Then the problem here does not end here, because we have not considered viscosity yet. Okay. Because if you look carefully, this equation, you drop every term regarding convection. You have only conduction. So it doesn't matter whether you start solving the problem by using momentum transport or energy transport. Because considering energy transport, you drop all terms relating to velocity. Okay? So you can say that let's start um, solving this equation using energy transport first. Disregard our assumption about constant density that we made last time. Okay? And then solve for temperature profile. After that, put that temperature profile back to calculate viscosity. Because viscosity is clearly stated by the problem that it, it, it is function of temperature. So without knowing temperature, you cannot calculate viscosity. And without the proper value of viscosity, you cannot calculate velocity profile. Okay? So in this case, as long as you can assume that the convection term in heat transfer is negligible, then you can start working on energy transport first. And then going back to the momentum transport. Last time, we have this equation for momentum transport. Okay, for x and y direction, the equation of motion does not give you anything. Only from z direction, you end up with this equation. And I said earlier that we need to use the equation of motion in terms of tau, not in terms of velocity, because viscosity is not constant anymore. Okay? So from here, GZ is G cos beta, if beta is the angle of the inclined plane. So convert this, you get total differential of tau by dx equal to rho G cosine beta. Integrated, you get tau xz equal to rho gx cosine beta. Plus another constant C2. <coughs> okay. Now, even though our fluid may not be Newtonian fluid. For Newtonian fluid, viscosity must be constant. In our case here, viscosity is not constant. It is functional temperature. Okay? But we can still use Newton's law. Newton's law said tau xz equal to minus mu dvz by dx. This is Newton's law. Okay? As long as you say that viscosity here is not constant, the whole equation can still be applied for non-Newtonian fluid. Okay? So now, if you plug it in, equation given by the problem, mu here is A exponential of B over T dVz by dx. Plug this back to our e equation obtained from equation of motion. This equation you 
would give you minus, or I can write down here, minus a e to power of b over t equal to rho gx cosine beta plus c2. Where t here will be obtained from this equation. So if you rearrange this equation to get t, plug it back in here, of course it stays as a power, then you can integrate this for uh, dvz by dx equal to here, right? Bring that to this part, plug t from temperature profile, and you can integrate this equation for velocity. You get velocity profile after integration. Theoretically, of course, practically, the integration itself is very, very complicated because temperature itself is a linear function of x. You put it as a power, not, a, not only the power, it is in the inverse power. So it's a little bit difficult, okay? Now, suppose you can integrate it, how many constants do you need? Two, right? You need two boundary, cons boundary condition. What are they? A solid fluid interface, velocity is zero. That's the first um, boundary condition. What about the second? A liquid interface, tau itself is zero. So two boundary conditions, two variables, supposedly you should be able to solve it. Okay, but this kind of problem will not appear in the, your examination. You want to? All right, any question?